the other side. Brand extension refers to the use of a successful brand name to launch a new product or a modified product into the market. Brand extension is basically a marketing strategy where the marketing cost of creating brand awareness can spread over multiple product lines. Market ma sorry. Brand extension is also considered as the most natural progression for brands. When organizations spend a lot of investments in technology and manufacturing, they do not like to give up any opportunity to capitalize on the capacity that they have created and maximize the returns on their investments. Let me give you a few examples of brand extension. Apple have extended its brand from personal computers into NPC players. Starbucks have extended its brand from coffee-based beverages into energy drinks. Whereas Dyson have extended its brand from vacuum cleaners into desk plants. Good examples of brand extensions can put a company in a better strategic position, whereas bad brand extensions are just ugly. However, one question that bothers every brand manager is whether such brand extension is good for the parent brand or whether it is a mistake one is committing in the long run. There is no straight answer to this question, but there are many cases where brand extensions have been hugely successful. For example, brands like GE, Procter & Gamble, Spencer's have been hugely successful in the market. But there are also cases where brand extensions have been miserably painful. First, we consider the good examples of brand extension and then the bad where the brand may harm the extension and then the ugly side where the extension may harm the brand. So let's start with a good one. Kevin Cardozo, popularly known as Snoop Dogg. He is famous songwriter, music producer and an artist. He is known for his rap. In mid-90s, his rap has been spread from inner city to suburbs and beyond that, to right time, right place and for right people. Snoop has never hidden his love for marijuana and smoking was his topic in feature for many of his songs. In 2012, Snoop Dogg released The Rolling Watts, a smokable song book. This book was a big hit and people loved it and further connected Snoop to his core fans. This is an excellent example of how brand extension needs to consider the tribe of the followers of the brand more than the adjacency of the product category. A smokable song book has nothing to do with the music, but everything to do with the Snoop's message, people and brand association. Let's move on to the back side, where the name fails to help. When a brand name is simply added to provide recognition, credibility and quality association, there is often a substantial risk. They say that brand extension depends upon, successful brand extension relies upon three pillars, fit, leverage and opportunity. Fit makes sense in relation to the parent brand in the minds of the consumers. Leverage have a competitive advantage in whatever category the product enters. Opportunity be able to generate significant sales. We all know Colgate brand. This brand is famous for its toothpaste. Colgate has extended its brand and moved into kitchen entries in 1982 with a product called lasagna. This is an Italian dish, lasagna made of meat slices and cheese sauce. Colgate's logic was, what if we were both the creator of the problem and solver of the problem? Let's give consumers a reason to brush their teeth. But people did not like this because they don't want to be thinking about the minty taste of the Colgate while they were having the hunger savior chicken salad. Consumers were unable to overcome their strong brand association of Colgate with the toothpaste, resulting this product to be a great failure in the market. As I said earlier, don't sell what you can make, but make what you can sell. I think it perfectly frames well in this case. Now let's move on to ugly side where the extension may harm the brand. In 1985, PepsiCo's share of US market was nearly 30% and was threatening to top its rival Coca-Cola. The Atlantic based beverage replaced the iconic 99-year-old formula with the new Coke. The company claimed that this Coke would have a sweeter and smoother taste than the previous one. But within just 77 days, the company brought back the original soft drink. The only reason behind this was 
only 13 percentage of the soda drinkers like this coke angry fans launched campaigns collected signatures and forced the company to get back the original soft drink so these three are the perfect examples of brand extension the good the bad and the ugly side so whenever you are trying to 